Hey everyone, it's Jamie from Best Nerd Life. Welcome to another episode of Nerdy Thrifts, a video series where I go around my local and also local chat shops to try and find <laughs> the best nerdy bargains that I can. Yeah, it's absolutely tipping it down right now, as you can probably tell. Yeah, it's properly throwing it down right now, as you can probably tell. <laughs> Is that going to stop me <laughs> doing Nerdy Thrifts now? No, it's not. So, without further ado, let's get going. <laughs> Alright, starting off with my favourite charity shop where I found this thing, which is a Microsoft Digital Sound System. Not something that I am really interested in. I didn't exactly know what it did at the time. Obviously, you know, it was some kind of speaker system, but yeah, it just wasn't interesting to me. And the next time I actually went into the shop, it had gone. So obviously it was some kind of good deal for someone. Moving on to the media section now, and honestly, recently this place really hasn't had a lot of good stuff, but this time I did manage to find The Sims 2 for the PlayStation 2. And for £2, yeah, you know what, I'm going to get that. Didn't really play a lot of it on the PlayStation 2, so it will be interesting to see what it is like. Moving on to the bric-a-brac section of the same charity shop, and I managed to find this just a girl who loves anime and sketching sketchbook. Yeah, I'm definitely not the target market for this, but anything that introduces people to anime or just anything anime in general, I'm pretty cool with it. I also found this Battle Royale, like, nerf gun type thing. I thought, you know what, for a laugh I might get it if it was one or two pounds. They were selling it for five pounds. You can probably get this for cheaper in the pound shop, for example. So I don't know what they were really thinking. I started having a look at the book section and I managed to find some stuff that really took me back to my childhood. Not the Diary of the Wimpy Kid stuff, not the Secret Seven stuff, these things. Old Bear and Friends by Jane Hissy. I used to love the TV shows as a child. And you know what? I don't know why I didn't get these because, oh man, just absolutely fantastic. Some really great memories with these uh, books and the old TV show. So yeah, really, really disappointed that I didn't get them. Finally, moving on to the clothing section and I found an Overwatch hoodie. Not a fan of Overwatch, doesn't really interest me at all, but you know what? This would be absolutely fantastic for someone who enjoys Overwatch. So yeah, even though I took some video of it, I did leave it. Another thing I found in that clothing section was this JoJo's Bizarre Adventure cap from Loot Crate. You'll be really, really surprised how much Loot Crate stuff I actually find. This seemed pretty cool. I like little characters in it. But again, I've never really watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, so I decided to leave it. All right, on to another charity shop now after spending so much time in that other one. And I found a couple of games, uh, Just Dance for the Wii. I've already got this, so I left it, put that back. And then further down, I found 007. You can see here, everything or nothing. I loved this game as a child. It's really cool to see it. I also found a few other ones, so there were Tom and Jerry, War of the Whiskers, which I've never even heard of before, so yeah, I got that, as well as these up here, there are Happy Feet and Barnyard, yeah, games I've never played, so I decided to get them. On to another media section in another charity shop, and I found some really weird and interesting kind of time capsule stuff. These are <laughs> like multimedia training things for Excel and other XP uh, Microsoft products. So Word as well, 2002 XP. Yeah, I was really tempted to get these, but really, am I ever going to use them? Probably not. I could probably do a video on them. I don't know. I left them. I also found this uh, Forever Friends Collector's Edition Retro Triple Disc like media pack, I don't know, it was really weird. Uh, again, I was tempted to get it because it's, you know, software, but I just left it. 
onto the electronics section of that same charity shop and I found an iron as well as this guitar hero guitar if it was a little bit cheaper I would have got it because I'm always interested in getting guitar hero peripherals but yeah it was a little too much for my taste it did seem in pretty good nick so I decided to leave it for someone else moving on to the glass cabinet of that same charity shop and I found that Zumba thing that's been there for ages as well as Jedi Fallen Order for the PlayStation 4 wasn't actually £15 it did say on the back on a sticker £7.50 I know it's a really good game and I have played it on the Xbox but I just don't want to spend £7.50 on a game for another console that I've already played so I left it on to another media section this time I found a whole bunch of stuff that has been there a while so you know I didn't really take any notice of it as well as a PC game that I wasn't expecting this is Stonekeep never heard of it seemed pretty cool by Interplay yeah for two pounds I'm gonna get it apparently it's part of a pack that obviously isn't there which is why there's no information on the back as well as Virtual Safari I've seen this before and wanted to pick it up but this time I just decided not to once again and then also Edge of Empires which you know is pretty cool but yeah I've already got it in a big box form so I left it oh and also Theme Park World but again I've already got it I also found a few more generic uh, PlayStation 2 games uh, Toka Race Driver 3 yeah I'm not really interested in it I will get it eventually but not today as well as Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004 nope don't want that at all and also who wants to be a millionaire yeah I was kind of tempted to get this because it's got Chris Tarrant on the back and it looks really terrible digitally so yeah in the end I decided not to get it yet yeah, more video games here and you know what a pretty decent selection Guitar Hero 3, Dual Quest Solitaire as well as some other stuff in the back like Bioshock Infinite which I'm about to pick up there we go and also Knack which yeah that's been there a while I can get this cheaper at CEX so I decided to leave it as well. Now here's something that I really should have got. This is the movies for the PC. Yeah, I don't think you can get this digitally. So the only way you can play this is by getting, you know, the CD or DVD or whatever. But I didn't really like the cover of it. So I left it, kind of regret that. And also let's go crazy with lemmings. I do actually have two of these big box. So I didn't get it. But you know what? This is a pretty decent little bundle moving on to another chat shop now and i found this keyboard made in germany i should say designed in germany yeah i'm just always interested in looking at keyboards this was a illuminated one it said 30 to 20 pounds near it like discounted i don't know if that was actually for the keyboard or for the cabinet i'd say it was for the cabinet but i just didn't know but i left it anyway because i don't need any more keyboards Oh hey, what's this uh, DS game tucked in between some books? Oh, oh wait no, High School Musical, making the cut? Nope. Moving swiftly on to another charity shop and another media section to find basically things that you would really find in just any other charity shop. But I did find a few things uh, a little later on. Uh, yeah, Gears of War 2, pretty cool. Already got it, so I left it. Uh, found Wally as well for the Wii. Real tempted to get this, but I didn't. Sadly, I will get it another day, as well as a Club Penguin. Never played a Club Penguin game, so that could be interesting. I also found Cooking Mama, which I thought was a really good deal, but it didn't actually have uh, the right game in there, as well as a bunch of Teddy Together for the 3DS. I bought this new for like $1.99, so yeah, even though it's cool to see it, I'm going to leave all these for other people. Onto the electrical section, and I found this really interesting shop calculator. Yeah, man, this had like <laughs> power mains connection, all that kind of stuff. Really, really sweet, big buttons, really chunky. I was very tempted to get it, but oh, I just don't have space for stuff like this at the moment. So I decided to leave it. Oh, so many regrets. <laughs> decided to look in the window of the local CEX shop and you know what 150 pounds for the original Game Boy Pokemon Red yeah I don't really want to be paying that much but it was interesting to see I guess some other stuff as well however this other thing uh, I'm just yeah I can't believe I found it 
This is a Dreamcast keyboard for, obviously, the Dreamcast for a tenor. Yeah, I know I don't really have room for this kind of stuff, but I just really want to have this. I don't know if I'll ever be able to use it because of the, you know, the small amount of games that actually use this. But yeah, for £10, it looked in really good condition. I'm definitely getting this and I'll store it somewhere. <laughs> Yet another charity shop and yet another uh, media section and I found a bunch of PC games that I wasn't really interested in but you know some were pretty cool. I also found Mario and Sonic Olympic Winter Games which was very tempting but the prices in the shop were just really really ridiculous. found Crazy Frog Racer which yeah that's a time capsule of a, <laughs> a horrific time. Also Rayman Raving Rabbits as well as Cars 2. Didn't get any of them. And to round off this video, I did find some cassettes. I'm not actually interested in the uh, music cassettes inside, and I'm not interested in the artwork either. Most of these were like copies anyway. I wanted the actual plastic containers to put a bunch of Commodore 64 games in that I got recently. So yeah, I just bought all these for 50p. Nice little bargain for me. And here is the haul for this particular video. As you can see, I got that Dreamcast keyboard. I also got The Sims 2, Tom and Jerry, Happy Feet and Barnyard for the PlayStation 2, as well as Iron Key for the PC. Scattered around, you'll also see the bunch of Commodore 64 games that are now safely in plastic containers, thanks to those cassettes that I got before. But yeah, that's the end of this video, and if you enjoyed it, then by all means like, comment, subscribe, do all that social media goodness, and as always, keep living that best nerd life.